Lactive mass was it 2020? Question number 15. Now let's see. It says that a particle P moves in a plane such that at time t seconds, its velocity v is equal to 2 ti minus t cube g meters per second. Now, we are being told, says that fine, when t is equal to 2, the magnitude of i, the velocity. So, i, what is our velocity? It's giving us 2 ti minus t cube g. Now, when t is 2, when t is 2, our v becomes 2 times 2i minus 2 to the power 3g. And this is 4i minus 8g. Now, what are we looking for? The magnitude. The magnitude. Hence, we know that our magnitude becomes square root of, that word, 4 square, 4 square plus negative 8 square. Because we can rewrite this as 4 negative 8. So, finding... The magnitude of this is this and working it out this is giving us that is square root of 80 we the same as 4 square root of 5 and that's just 8.94 meters per second now let's see the second one says that we should find the acceleration we should find the acceleration so our second one won't find acceleration, but then we have velocity. Velocity is 2ti minus t cube j. Now, we shouldn't forget if you have v var, it is displacement, velocity, acceleration. Now, if you move this way, what do you do? We differentiate. So, if you have velocity, you want acceleration, we differentiate. Hence, from here, our dv all over dt. When you differentiate, what are you going to get? We get 2i minus 3t square g. So our acceleration is 2i minus 3t square g. Now, what is t? We have been given that t is equal to 2. But t is equal to 2. Therefore, our acceleration becomes 2i minus 3 times 2 square j. So 2i minus, this is 4, 12, so that's 12, 12 j. So magnitude, we want the magnitude of the acceleration, that will be 2 square plus negative 12 all square. So we have square root of 4 plus 1, 4, 4, square root of 1, 4, 8. 1, 4, 8, square root of 1, 4, 8, and when we work on this, we get that square root of, we are getting 2 root 37, and this is 12.166 meters per second square. Now, if you've not subscribed, please make sure that you do that, and in the books to there you are seeing on the screen, make sure you get a copy for yourself. Now, the second says that given that P is at the point with position vector 3i and 2 plus 2j, when t is equal to 1, find the position vector of P when t is equal to 2. Now, they've given us the velocity to be 2ti minus t cube j. Now, velocity is the same as what? The rate of change of displacement with time. So we have 2 t i t cube j. Clearly, our displacement, that will be integral 2 t i minus t cube j dt. Now, when we integrate this, what are we going to get? We are getting 2 t square over 2 i minus t to the power 4 over 4 j plus constant of integration and this is just t square because 2 comes to i minus 1 over 4 t to the power 4 j plus c plus c that's a constant of integration now when t is 1 
when t is 1, our s was given us that is 3i plus 2j. So let's substitute and we'll be able to get our constant of integration. So you have 3i plus 2j equal to t, but t is 1, so you have 1 square i minus 1 over 4 times 1 to the power of 4j plus c. So in this case, we have 3i, let this one come here, minus i plus 2j, let's bring this, minus 1 over 4j equal to c. And this is just 2i. Now here, so when you work, when you're working out this, that's here is 4. Now we have, um, this will be 8 minus, that is 1, over j equal to c. So clearly our constant of integration becomes 2i plus 7 over 4 j. This is our constant of integration. Hence, our displacement is t square i minus 1 over 4 t to the power 4 j plus our constant of integration which is 2i plus 7 over 4 j. Now let's group them. So here we have t square plus 2 i, that is i here, i here, and then we have a plus 1 over 4. Let's bring the 7 first. 7 minus t to the power 4, this is r, j. This, so this is our displacement. Now the question says that we should find the position vector of p when t is 2. So when t is equal to 2. When t is equal to 2, what do we have? We have our s to be 2 square plus 2 i plus 1 over 4 7 minus, that is 2 to the power 4 j. And this is 4 plus 2, so you have 6 i plus. Now let's see, when we get 1 over 4, 7 minus 16, um, that is 7 and 16, that will be negative 9j. So you have 6i minus 9 over 4j. And this is our position when t is equal to 2. This is very, very easy. Make sure that you subscribe and in the books too that you are seeing on the screen, make sure you get a copy for yourself. Okay, so working on this, we have 3i plus 2j equal to this is i minus 1 over 4j plus c. So we want to work for the constant of integration. Let's take all this to this side. So we have our c will be equal to 3i minus i plus 2j. Now this negative crossing, that will be positive. So plus 1 over 4j plus c. Now this is, this is just... 2i, now plus 2 plus 1 over 4, LCM 4, 8, 1, so that will be 9 over 4j. So this is our c, there shouldn't be any c here. So this is, we work for our c, constant of integration. Hence, our displacement will be equal to t square i minus 1 over 4t to the power of 4j plus our constant of integration, which is ti plus 9 over 4j. Now let's group them so we can bring this and this together. So that is t squared plus 2, and then we have i. Now plus we have 9 over 4 minus 1 over 4. We have t to the power 4, and then we have this as uh, j. Now the question says that we should find the displacement when t is 2. So when our t is 2, our s becomes 2 squared plus 2i plus 9 over 4 minus, this will give us that is 16 over 4 j. And this is just, this is giving us 
that's 4 plus 2, so 6. 6i plus, now this um, we have uh, 4, SEM 4, but 9 minus 16, that's negative 7. So you have negative 7 over 4j. So this is our displacement when t is equal to 2. If you've not subscribed, please make sure that you do that. We have a whole lot of videos that will help you pass your exams with ease. You see the books on the screen, make sure you get a copy for yourself. It will help you very, very much. No pain, no gain. Subscribe as well.